Hi, I'm Kendra, and this is my series of Tweeting Yourself How You Want to Be Treated. The shadow self only grows if it's not integrated, and this can lead to addiction, to substance abuse, in order to suppress it and quiet it. If you just continue to ignore it, if you ignore it, it will become so massive that it will absolutely take a substance to calm it, quiet it, and keep it suppressed. I have seen people drink their self to death or get in a drunk driving accident and kill someone else or take their own life in other ways, overdosing on drugs, manipulating and controlling everyone around them until everyone leaves you or go to prison. Your shadow will just keep coming towards the light. It's going to just keep growing. It's only job in your life is to get your attention so that you will integrate it. So stop suppressing it. We all have a shadow side, a shadow self. We are just unaware of these negative, low vibrational beliefs and emotions that are there. They exist, but they're so deep, deep, deep down inside. We don't even usually know that they even are there. Generally, it takes us being triggered by something to get our attention so that we can, it's exposed and we have to look at it. We have to. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but thoughts become things. Even low vibrational negative emotions and thoughts do become things. It's hard to believe that we actually have a hand in bringing even bad things into our lives. I have a story. Lately, it's been, this part of my shadow has been really coming up in a lot of different ways for me. And I haven't even dealt with it in a very high vibrational way because I just kind of was shocked that it keeps coming up and I'm actually honestly kind of used to it coming up because I've had this deep seated, dark, false belief for probably my whole entire life. And what is it? I have believed that people just honestly don't really like me a lot of times. And I just kind of have taken that as the truth, but it's not, it's a, tr it's not a truth. It's a false belief. It's a low vibrational belief and I can rid myself of it. So anyways, I'm just, I've actually had quite a few stories <laughs> of it coming up in my life recently for me to be able to bring this shadow out into the light and integrate it. But here's one story. This is kind of a real shocker to me. This really like triggered me. And so I'm just sharing it with you so that you can see we all have these shadow pieces inside of us that we have to expose. Anyway, I just recently moved to an area that's really kind of cold and snowy. And honestly, I don't really like snow that much. I'm kind of over it. But anyway, I moved here and I am here. So I have to really embrace it. And the first time it snowed, I, I uh, hired my neighbor, um, who's 19 years old, to come over and shovel my uh, driveway and my sidewalk and my walk. And so he had done that. He does that for me um, when I hire him and then I pay him on Venmo. Um, so recently it snowed quite a bit and I went outside for some reason or another and I saw that half of my driveway and my whole sidewalk was cleaned off. And I hadn't heard a word from him. He usually asks for money um, be when he does it, there were also tire tracks in my, on the driveway and on the sidewalk. So I was really confused because I knew he didn't have a tractor, but I felt really appreciative. So I really wanted to thank whoever did it, but I mostly felt really confused. About a week later, I was outside and it was a nice day outside and I decided to go ahead and shovel the rest of my driveway off. And there were a bunch of neighbors outside. It was a nice day and we were all doing it. And I did notice that down the street on the other side were a bunch of guys kind of tooling around on this little tractor machine. And I thought, oh, that looks like fun. But I didn't put two and two together. And later, I really wish I had. <laughs> the next time it snowed, I hired my neighbor to come over and shovel again. And he only did half of the driveway. So I kind of was like, maybe it was him, but he didn't ask for money. So honestly, I still felt very confused. 
that just two days ago, it only snowed about three inches. And I didn't want to back my car out and pack the ice underneath and make it slick because my driveway is really steep. So I just went outside and I thought I'll just scrape behind my car and scrape the sidewalk a little bit so that I can get out and go do some stuff. Well, I walked outside and there it was, like it slapped me in the face. Now I knew I brought everything together all at once and there it was. Across the street, the neighbors had that little machine. They scraped the whole sidewalk going down the whole street and then they came across and I could see the tracks exactly. No one was out there but me. And they had intentionally missed my entire house and then started up again at the neighbor's house on the other side. They intentionally didn't help me because they probably thought that I knew it was them and that I wasn't grateful and that I was just a huge jerk. This was unintentional on my part. This was horrible. I brought this to myself and I have to be responsible that I did this to myself because I believed that people don't like me. So I acted out in such a way that they don't like me now. And now I feel like I've made enemies out of them. This just feels horrible to me. And I could have reacted and responded in a way that I used to. I could have went inside and over ate so that I didn't have to feel these feelings because I felt so bad and awful and terrible and horrible and sick to my stomach that I had done this, that they think I'm a jerk now. And I could have came inside and over ate and ate comfort food, which is my go-to in the past to make me feel comfortable and better and happy and to find relief from these horrible low vibrational feelings. Or I could have ran down there really quick and took them some, you know, desserts or bring them some money and apologize to them and just been a real people pleaser, which I have totally done in the past. That brings me relief from my terrible feelings. Or I could just avoid them and pretend like I just am a jerk and just not talk to them anymore. It's been another way that I've dealt with things in the past. But by dealing with things in this way, I'm just reiterating into my own subconscious mind that it's true that people don't like me and then I have to react in these ways or I have to use a substance to calm myself down. But I don't want to do that anymore. I actually want to face my shadow and let it come into the light. Let it integrate into, into me and be a part of me. I want to turn this around. I want to admit responsibility that thoughts become things. And I want to let the thoughts that I think become great things and not low vibrational, negative, horrible things. I just wanted to look for relief from these horrible low vibrational feelings because they didn't feel good in my body and I didn't want to feel them. So I would have looked for relief through that or through drinking or sleeping. Those are the ways that I have coped, coping mechanisms that I have used in the past. But I don't want to feel like that anymore. I want to be my new, authentic, genuine, real, loving, caring self to myself. I want to have compassion with myself. So I'm going to do the shadow work that it requires. I'm going to let this shadow be exposed and I'm going to just integrate it so that it's not there anymore. I'm going to love it. So I allowed myself all day to feel the horrible, terrible feeling that I felt in the pit of my stomach because now these people don't like me. And instead, I'm going to repeat to myself over and over and over that people do like me and that people can like me and that I am likable. I'm going to turn this around. I can replace my negative low vibrational beliefs that people didn't like me. I could allow myself instead to believe that people do like me, just like me, just me for me, not because I'm a certain way or I do certain things just because, and I could act as though they do like me. So I can genuinely and authentically smile and wave at people and just connect with people and talk to people. And when I see people from now on, I'm going to believe that they like me 
and I'm going to tell myself, keep telling myself and repeat it over and over as many times as it takes to impress upon my subconscious mind that people actually do like me. Honestly, I'm really excited to work on this deep rooted belief and finally just rid myself of it because it is not true and it's brought a lot of problems into my life believing that people don't like me and you can see one of the problems I just told you and believe me there's many many more <laughs> and so by just like reacting to it or taking a substance to calm myself so I don't feel it anymore that's just reiterating the belief that people don't like me and I'm stopping that I'm done doing that I'm instead changing it around and experiencing expecting people to like me and acting as though they do. And this is amazing. And you can do this too. Let's all do this. We're in this together. Thank you.